Hey, Dr. David Lippman from Physical Evidence here. And one of the things that really makes my sort of job really enjoyable is that because I spend so much time with my patients, I really get to know them. And many times I get to hear about them from stories they told me. And one particular story I heard recently is one that I'd really like to share. It's one of those stories that I was told when I was told the story by the patient that I would repeat the story. And I believe that you will as well. Now, it's not my story, it was his, and it actually goes about this. He's a minister that was retired, and he was from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And at times, he would go on a cruise ship along with a Catholic priest and a rabbi, because back in like the late 40s, early 50s, people would usually like to have spiritual counseling sometimes, even on cruise ships. And he told me how the rabbi one time had told him a story about how there was a thousand kids that were liberated from the camps after World War II and they were so young and their parents were all gone they didn't know their names and where they were from so the Canadians the Australians and the Americans brought them back to each of their countries with the hopes that people in those countries would adopt these kids and the rabbi shared with my patient that he was one of those thousand kids that's how he knew that this had happened so he ended up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, as did my friend, my patient that was the minister. Anyway, he told a story about a little boy and little girl that were with him from those camps that came to Pittsburgh as well. And the, the sister was seven, the little brother was five, and the little boy wouldn't speak since they left Europe. And so he only seemed to want to stay with his sister, even though he was not verbal he really needed to stay by him so the people that were running the orphanage or facility decided that if they were going to be adopted they they couldn't split them up they had to keep them together and so the little girl was very vivacious described as like a Shirley Temple type so there were quite a few families that were interested in her however when they found that they had to take the boy as well unfortunately it it wasn't something that many of these people wanted to do finally a local doctor, family doctor, and his wife had come who also didn't have children and wanted to have children. So they also fell in love with the little girl and they realized that they had to take the little boy. So they decided they were going to take the kids away from the orphanage for that day. And so they, they took them in town. They went to a park and maybe brought them to get some lunch. And as the day progressed, they had talked amongst themselves and decided that he was a doctor, he knew every doctor in town, and whatever was wrong with the boy, they, they can fix it, they can get, get help. So they decided they were going to take these children together. And the wife had the idea before the end of the day, before they brought them back to the orphanage, that she would bring them by the house so they can get to see where they were going to live and they would start to get acclimated to their new life situation. So they went to the home and they showed them, this is gonna be your room and this is gonna be your room. And then finally, they went to the master bedroom. Now, the wife had a picture of her sister who happened to have died in the camps because they also were from Europe, but they had left before the war started, but her sister didn't. And there was a picture of her sister on her side table by the bed. And the little boy walked over to the picture and opened his arms and said, Mama, it was their niece and nephew. And that kind of thing is the kind of thing that just gives you goosebumps. It's a true story, as I was told, and until he told me that last line, I didn't understand why I was going to tell this story again, but then I knew. Anyway, that was one of the greatest stories I had heard, and it's enough to make you believe in God. Wanted to share it here.